Yes, I am still here at the 47th Annual State of the Art Urology course sponsored by UCLA. I'm in front of the Olympus booth to bring you some updated information and something that I, an uh, issue that I encountered, which may end up helping you when you are doing your TURPs. Uh, Hannah's here with me. She is with Olympus. And there's been an update on the Thulium laser that they have. A couple of years ago, I brought this information to everyone. Thulium laser is the latest and greatest when it comes to stone and soft tissue destruction. And uh, Olympus has their Saltive Pro and also the Saltive Premium. Now, you may have learned that there's been some talk about ureteral injury from excess heat. Olympus came up with a solution to help fix that problem. So, Hannah, if you don't mind sharing with the audience what and how they fix the problem. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Lin. So, as you know, we have three different settings on our laser. And under our lithotricity, soft tissue, and BPH, there's already presets set in. So, it makes it super user-friendly and easy for your facility to use. So, one of our biggest adjustments that we recently made was adjusting our ureteral stone setting. So, before there was no setting, um, we simply just had dusting, fragmenting, bladder stone, and fine dusting. But we have added a ureteral stone setting, which allows for a lower wattage, which has been proven to be super effective inside the ureter. So that's the key, is the lower wattage, potentially less heat, so you can treat these larger stones with extreme efficiency using the thulium laser, especially this one from Olympus. As you know, I've talked about other thulium laser manufacturers that are hopefully soon to be releasing some of this newer technology and hopefully, hopefully help drive down costs so that it will make acquisition a little bit easier. Now recently in this group, I posted a question regarding non-conductive fluid when I was performing TURPs. Now this has been a problem that has been occurring for many, many months and possibly a couple of years. It's always been an intermittent issue for me and this past Tuesday as I was doing a, a case, it finally would not work anymore. It would just constantly say non-conductive fluid. Now I have tried changing the loop, changing the cable, changing the generator, and I was using the ESG 400 from Olympus. Nothing worked. Now you came up with a, a few solutions. Why don't you kind of go over that so that I, I know other people have had the same problem. Definitely. We see that um very so often um, and there are three things that I would say the quickest troubleshooting solutions would be the first would be making sure or changing your working electrode make change it out if you're receiving that air the second would be making sure you're resecting with warm saline warm saline helps with just everything the conduction it makes it a lot a lot better um, and then the last final piece is making sure all of the little attachments are connected properly and here there's this little gray seal on the back if that is not on the working element you will receive that error message so I have tried pretty much everything I've tried changing out the the loop right I change it so I use the medium loop when I do TURPs, which you guys have seen videos of me doing TURPs and how rapid I can develop the plasma when I do the resections. It's just as fast as a monopolar. Using the medium loop, medium loop, that's the key. And I use the thin loop, not the thick one. So I've, I've changed, with the non-conductive fluid issue, I've changed out the loop, the cables attached to the working element. And the working element is this hand piece right here. There's a little rubber seal apparently that makes a difference now I tried two different working elements and both gave me errors keep in mind that both of my elements were purchased and acquired around the same time so they probably have the same age and they probably broke down finally after years of use so that's the next thing that I'm going to try when I encounter this which I will uh, I'm gonna try a new new working element this is called a working element Hand, I call it a hand piece, but it's a working element. So if you get intermittent non-conductive fluid errors, consider trialing or get your Olympus rep to give you a, a one that you can demo so they can switch out and replace possibly the non-working one. So I'm really looking forward to it because when it was working, it's phenomenal. <laughs> but then intermittently for over the last several months, 
it's been eventually slowly dying and I suspect that this may be the culprit. So thank you so much, Hannah, for sharing your insight. Dr. Lin, thank you very much. <laughs> As usual, if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them below. Take care. Thanks for watching on a Saturday.